What's going on, guys? Joey Shirkabuck is back here with another video for you guys. So, Friday night, because the playoff games start on Saturday, of course. And I'm going to be giving you my wild card game picks. But, before we get into it, yeah, I know, there's someone featured in here. So, could not do the Polar Plunge, polar plunge on Wednesday, New Year's Day, due to weather conditions. That's why I couldn't upload it, just so you know. Weather was not safe enough. And, I have. Not just me today. Uh, this is my um, cod brother, Lachlan Roche. He is going to be giving his game picks along with mine for this wild card weekend. So let's jump right on into it. First game, we have the fifth seeded Bills, I think. Yeah. Yeah. No. Bills. Actually, no. Sorry. First game, it's the five seeded Bills at the four seeded Texans. Uh, who's going to come out with that one? Uh. I'm all right. I'll go first, just so we can think about it a little bit. So Texans, JJ Watt coming back. The so they, man. They said he's not going to play the whole time because they don't want to hurt him again. But he's gonna get some touches. Um, Bills defense very good. Sean McDermott does a hell of a job coaching that team. Um, now last year we had a very similar setup. The Colts went into Houston, dominated the ball. Watson played god awful, and they walked away with the sloppy win. Now, will this happen again? It's the, it's the same. It's the Bills going into Houston, and the question is who's going to come out on top. And I do think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be pretty low scoring. I think both defenses will play well. Josh Allen's mediocre. Deshaun Watson's mediocre. So I am going to say it's going to be a really fun, dominating defensive showdown game. But I'm going to take the Bills on the road to defeat the Texans here, twenty to thirteen. Lachlan, what do you think? Okay, so. I think it's gonna. It might be a close. It's gonna definitely gonna be a close game, in my opinion. I feel like I'm. I'm not too happy with them putting out JJ Watt for like they're not gonna let him be in the game as much. But I can understand. But I'm also kind of upset about that. Uh, definitely think that Josh Allen. He's he's good, but he's he's not that good. Right, if, just comparing about their other games, they're, they they win you, some usually, but lose some. So I feel like, I don't, I don't know, I feel like it's going to go to the Bills. Uh, oh, sorry. Like 20, 27 to uh, 14. 27, 14 Bills? Yeah. All right, so yeah, just to refresh, guys, I have t Bills winning 20-13. to 13. He has Bills winning 27-14, so we actually agreed on something. I'm shocked. <laughs> All right, next game, guys. Got the six-seeded Titans at the three-seeded Patriots. Now, before we talk about that, this guy is a Patriots fan. Yeah. <laughs> Not thrilled about that, but we don't need to talk about it. So, yeah, um, Texans Patriots. First of all, before we even get into it, Texans. Sorry, I keep getting them backwards. Titans against the Patriots. So, in New England, obviously, because they're the higher seed. Um, New England is feisty right now. They just lost at home to the Dolphins last weekend. Incredibly embarrassing. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> so, anyways, um, the weather. As usual, God, New England weather where we are, the weather is so bad. Weather's going to be terrible again tomorrow in the low 40s and rain. So that is why I'm going to lean toward the Patriots because they're so used to the crappy weather playing at home. They're, again, they've adapted to it. They're really good in the bad weather. The Titans, it's all going to come down to if they're able to establish the running game with Derrick Henry because he has been so good lately. But if the Patriots shut down the running game, the Titans have to accomplish some sort of a passing game in the bad weather going on the road. And I think it's going to be a good game. People say it's going to be a massacre. I do not agree. I think it's going to be closer than people are saying. It's Patriots. Not be like the World War Three. Yeah, definitely not that. Um, I do think the Patriots are going to pull this one out. Titans fighting for their lives, but I think they're going to take the loss out on the road to the Patriots here. Going to take the Patriots 24-17, to 17, but it's going to be a very good game. Lachlan? Okay. But, uh, Patriots, definitely not happy about them losing to the Dolphins. Um, but, you know, you know the, like, the Titans, they're from Tennessee, but they're not the 10 I see. They're like a five. They're bad, right? Uh, the Patriots, on the other hand, since it's, they're used to this weather, like Joe said, 
I feel like the Patriots will have an upper hand. And, uh, I feel like their defense has been really good, especially with Kyle Vinoy, who is really good, in my opinion. Um, he's really underrated. And Tom Brady, I feel like, has his, he's not, it's not his best season. Uh, Julian Edelman is, is not making the greatest catches. So, but I feel like it's going to be like, like 36. Like, You're scoring high, really? Yeah, 30, All right. 36, uh, 20, 20, 21. 36-21 Patriots. Mm -hmm. So, j before we go on, go on to the next game, guys, one thing to keep in mind, Patriots, Brady, again, not doing well this year, but the Patriots always shine in the playoffs. So that's where you think, like, is Brady going to pop off this game? That's going to play a huge role because the Patriots almost always shine in the playoffs. So, to recap, I have Patriots 24-17, and Lachlan has the Patriots 36-21. So 24-17, 36-21. Okay, guys, we're moving on to our Sunday pair of games. First game up, we have the six-seed Vikings at the three-seed Saints. Um, I definitely think the Saints are going to pull this one out. Vikings have looked sloppy to end the regular season. They lost I, against the Bears. Yeah, they, they, oh, they, yeah, Mitch, they did. And, and the Bears have Mitchell Trubisky, all, one of the worst quarterbacks. Yet, they still lost. Now, I think they were resting a little bit. But still, they needed to get a win to get some momentum. Did not get it. They also got destroyed by Green Bay. Their offense was demolished. So, I do believe Dalvin Cook is playing. So, that helps, obviously. <clears throat> But the Saints' defense has been getting better and better besides their really bad game against the Niners a few weeks ago. But, again, Saints' defense has been really good. Drew Brees, um, a good quarterback. Really very good. good. Their offense is insane. One of the best wide receivers in the league. One of the best quarterbacks in the league. One of the best running backs in the league. And Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, and Drew Brees. That offense is really good. And although the Vikings' defense is pretty good, I think it's kind of overhyped. And I do think the Saints are going to kind of explode against them. And before I give you my pick, my uh, score here... If we flash back two years ago, the Minneapolis miracle when Stephon Diggs got that touchdown to end the game against the Saints, shocked them in Minnesota. This time it's in New Orleans. I say the Saints get Why their revenge. Why do you say the Minneapolis miracle? That's what they that they call the Stephon Diggs touchdown the Minneapolis miracle because they got that crazy touchdown. Yeah, but, but you remember the Minnesota miracle? They, it's the same thing, I bro. Know. Okay, Lockhart, I see how it is. So yes, I do think the Saints are going to get their revenge here to defeat the Vikings. Mm. I think it's not going to be the closest game ever, but I'm going to take the Saints here, 31 to 17. Lachlan, what do you got? Mm, I just feel like Drew Brees is going to pop off, um, he because he is a coach of flag football. Um, I feel like he, he he's he's good with his plays. He's consistent. Meanwhile, the uh. The uh, this the Vikings. The Vikings. God, I get this too. I know. Uh, the Vikings. They're they're gonna. I feel like they're not having the greatest season. This is not the game where the where Minnesota is just gonna go skull. Is there not? No way. Uh. So I feel like it's gonna be. 28 to 14. Saints winning? Yeah, Saints. All right, so to wrap up, Saints win 28-14. And uh, he, for Lachlan, I have the Saints winning 31 to 17. Okay, our last wild card game. The, I think, what? Seattle. Seahawks. Right, I'm trying to figure out what seed they are. I think they're the fourth or fifth seed Seahawks at the sneaky good, scrappy Eagles, who I believe are the, um, I don't know, four, uh, fourth seed or third seed, because they're obviously the home team, in Philadelphia. So, Seattle obviously got Marshawn Lynch last week. He's back. Didn't play. He was obviously rusty, which is to be expected. I mean, he had he was retiring, came out of his retirement. Um, as for the Eagles, 
they're they fought for their lives. They got into the playoffs to knock out the Cowboys. So congratulations, congratulations to the Eagles. And also, Seattle's cold right now. Russell Wilson looks sloppy. The Seahawks are relying too much on him. I feel like. And they also have to go to Philadelphia. They're on the road. Seattle's defense has been meh. Uh, their offense is oh, it's good, but again, they're relying too much on Russell Will- on Russell Wilson. I feel like need gonna have to establish the running game with Chris Carson. I believe I think he's still there. I feel like Chris Carson got hurt, but I think he's still there for Chris Carson. And I do, th- but I do think the Eagles' defense is decent. And the Eagles are going to be able to establish a good passing game with Wentz and Zach Ertz. I think that will be a big player in who comes out with the dub on this one. But I'm going to take the Eagles. Again, fighting fighting for their lives. They're at home. They're playing a team that has really not been good lately. They're, they're kind of on a cold streak. And, again, the home field advantage is such a big factor in who wins in the playoffs. So I'm going to take an upsetting victory for the Eagles here 21 to 17. What do you got, Lachlan? Ah, uh, okay. So, I feel like, yeah, Russell Wilson is sloppy. Um, the Eagles, wow. Just that's how I sum them up right now. Good team for right now. Um, Marshawn Lynch. Obviously, a lot of Seattle fans very happy with Marshawn Lynch coming back. Um, so I feel like it's I feel like the Eagles might win, like thirty, thirty-five to fourteen. So you think the Eagles are going to score thirty-five points? Really? Wow. Okay. So, we actually were able to agree on on all four games. I'm actually pretty surprised by that. So, to wrap this one up, Lachlan has the Eagles winning 35-14. I have the Eagles winning 21-17. I think it's going to be a little bit lower scoring than this bud is saying. But, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video for my Game Picks 4 and featuring Lachlan Roche for the wild card of 2019. Guys, thank you all so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it. What are you doing? Um, and guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you all have a great weekend. Let's enjoy a nice wild card weekend of football. And also, I do recaps after every uh, playoff game. Not sure if I addressed that already. But even though the Ravens aren't playing this week, luckily first round bye, I will do recaps after every playoff game. Wait, like, and including the Ravens game, I will do recaps after wait, wait, every me, single game. Let me let me say something. Okay. You're, are you changing your pick? No, 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 I'm not changing my pick. Okay. Yeah. So special message: if you have TikTok, join the raid, the Lego Star Wars raid. We need your help. Okay, that works too. I I don't follow the TikTok crap. You're gonna have to talk to him about that. But anyway. Thank you guys so much for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow for my, re- for my recap on my last few games. Peace out. Have a great day, guys.